it can be hard making a good horror movie. Whether it's trying to get the perfect balance between blood, guts, and actual story, or just coming up with some original spooky creations, there's plenty of mediocre entries into the genre that prove it's not as easy as it looks to make scary stuff work. On the other hand, however, there is also a buttload of movies that have mastered their craft without anyone really noticing. They might be small or controversial or unfairly panned by critics only to become cult gems in the aftermath, but they're here, ready to be thrust into the limelight and given the appreciation they deserve. Horror movies are for life, not just for Christmas after all. I am the underrated Ash from the intensely spooky what culture, and these are 10 more underrated horror movies you need to watch. 10. Carriers Zombie movies have really done the rounds. From contractors of the rage virus, to walkers, to bonies, and yes, that's what they're called in warm bodies, I'm not being crude for once, there's more than enough representation out there for the shuffling undead masses. Now, Carriers isn't necessarily a zombie zombie film, but its post-apocalyptic setting and establishment of a world-ending virus plaguing humanity is pretty familiar. When the dead stay gone, the fight for survival feels all the more poignant. The titular carriers of a pandemic are those that are sick and can infect others simply by breathing their stinky breath on them, proving a battle of trust and breath mints for four friends as they attempt to find safety by driving through America. It's a tight, emotionally manipulative movie that strangely seems to fall by the wayside when similar films are discussed, but it deserves all the more praise for its bleak portrayal of a dying and forgotten world. That, and it has Chris Pine before he became famous, so there you go. 9. Pie Whack It An indie release that's come without much fanfare, Pie Whack It is a brilliantly intense imagining of all the things that go wrong when you summon a demon to kill your own mother. Just in case you were considering it. Leah learns the hard way that interfering with the supernatural comes with its consequences, and that moving to a new city isn't the worst thing that can happen to her or her stressed out mother either. Pie Wacket makes great use of a gloomy, oppressive tone, never giving too much away or reveling in monstrous visuals, instead focusing on the emotional consequences of its plot before devolving into chilling spectacle. Whilst the ending does become pretty clear as the film goes on, each step to get there is expertly crafted, making its budget feel much larger than it actually is. What is not to like about a load of goths and Laurie Holden from The Walking Dead, really? 8. Bug Delivered straight from the horror movie holy font that birthed The Exorcist, William Friedkin's Bug is a claustrophobic nightmare lurking in the shadows, telling the tale of a man convinced that the government has implanted insects under his skin. Ugh, no thanks. Obsessed with conspiracy theories and intensely paranoid, Peter is introduced to waitress Agnes, asking for her help by holding up in her apartment against the political forces he's trying to outrun. Shot almost entirely in one room, Bug leans heavily into its gross premise by squashing us into the space these characters think is infested with microscopic creatures. It's a strange, eerie, and later disgusting insight into the broken human mind, never quite certain of where it sits between reality and fiction. If you want something that will keep you guessing, Bug will have you stuck in your seat until the very end on its maniacal intensity alone. Don't test Michael Shannon. 7. Lake Mungo Coming out to a critically acclaimed limited release back in 2008, Lake Mungo all but disappeared in the years after, strangely falling through the cracks of the ever-growing horror genre despite being pretty well loved by those that did manage to catch it. Capitalizing on the classic mockumentary formula, Lake Mungo is the exploration of a family dealing with the death of their daughter and sister, 16-year-old Alice. Her brother decides to set up cameras around their home in an attempt to catch her ghostly apparitions, but instead captures a sinister plot taking place that the Palmers were all but blind to. Unless at the Blair Witch Project, found footage movies hardly ever get the hype they deserve, including Lake Mungo. With a solid premise and an actual reason to be watching through the back of someone's home movies, it's a supernatural story that soon becomes much darker, building intention through its technology as well as a tight story. It is definitely worth giving a chance to, shaky cam or not. 6. Dead Silence Now, Dead Silence isn't going to be the best horror movie you ever watch, I can tell you that much, but it definitely isn't going to be the worst either, and the creepy puppet show that plays out is one that's unarguably wonderfully put together. Helmed by no other than James Wan at his spooky finest, and written by his co-creator of the Saw franchise, Lee Winnell, it's always surprising to think that their next Hollywood effort after the torture porn series never really got recognized. 
When Jamie's wife is killed after receiving a mysterious ventriloquist dummy, he vows to get to the bottom of what's really going on, returning to his hometown and uncovering an ancient tongue-eating evil in the process. It is good, campy fun and never pretends to be anything it's not in the process. We've had Annabelle and we've had Chucky, it's, it's only fair that Billy the Dummy gets his long overdue time in the spotlight, really. 5. The Wailing Na Hong Jin's tale of a policeman desperate to save his daughter from a mysterious disease is a superb deviation into South Korean horror for those who perhaps haven't ventured far out of Western cinema circles, a critical and commercial success that brings Hollywood to shame. In typical fashion for Asian cinema, it is gritty and visceral, championing uncomfortable imagery alongside a deeply disturbing tone, but will make you all the more invested in its story because of it. A stranger comes to the policeman's village, and with him, a killer illness. In turn, it forces those afflicted with it to murder in kind. An investigation seems to point to the occult, and with the policeman's daughter's shoe found at the scene of an altar, he has to get to the bottom of what evil spirit could be working its forces throughout the local population before it's too late. The Wailing seems an appropriate enough title since it's exactly what you'll be doing by the end of it. Ooh. 4. Bad Match Flying under the radar at film festivals in 2017, Bad Match is the internet generation's worst nightmare. When online playboy Harris meets Riley through a dating app, all seems well and good, at least, until she reveals herself as more than slightly enamoured and won't leave the boy alone. Riley isn't one to go away quietly, as Harris soon learns, his life unravelling in a parallel to 1987's Fatal Attraction. Only this time, there is way more Tinder and Call of Duty, and maybe less bunny boiling. All around, good things. Bad Match perfectly captures millennial anxieties of putting yourself online, bridging the gap between paranoid delusion and cold hard terror with a simple swipe right. Another film made on a small budget and subsequently ignored in the place of bigger releases, the few characters and locations were taken through are all expertly set up. Nothing goes to waste when it comes to defining Riley's creepy behavior and Harris's bad attitude. 3. The Lure what happens if you mix flesh-eating mermaids, musicals, a strip club, and a love story all in the same giant cauldron with a dash of dreamy 80s pop for good measure? The lure is what happens, and oh boy, is it a ride. Created as a live-action take on Hans Christian Andersen's The Little Mermaid, two aquatic sisters come to land, with one getting all fired up over an emo fringe bassist in a local band. We've all been there, we can't blame her. It's a world away from the comforting Disney animation full of happy fish and a lovely underwater kingdom, instead swapping Ariel's royal encounter with Prince Philip for the position of naked backup singers in a seedy bar's house band. Unsurprisingly, the Polish film's release has largely been like Marmite to critics, with some singing its praises and some condemning it to the depths. The lure is bonkers, yes, but it is entertaining too, and a refreshing, outlandish take on an original fairy tale that seems to encompass what horror is all about. That being ostensibly very weird. 2. The Autopsy of Jane Doe The Autopsy of Jane Doe has a simple yet genius premise. A father-son mortician team are handed over a body by the local police force and asked to perform an autopsy to ascertain exactly how the pristine body of an unknown woman has turned up at a seemingly unrelated crime scene. The film then plays out as their investigation into how exactly Jane Doe came to wind up on their operating table, and where on God's green earth she actually came from. It is safe to say, of course, that things then take a dark turn the further they break down the body of Jane Doe. The film is a masterclass in tension, perfectly pacing its murder mystery with strange supernatural occurrences without ever pushing it over the edge. The autopsy of Jane Doe is also the best performance you'll ever see from a dead body bar Daniel Radcliffe's farting corpse in Swiss Army Man, shifted in each phase of the film to reflect a different, intense emotion, stipulating the narrative in a uniquely clever way. There is plenty more I could ramble on about, but the point stands. It's a genuine crime that this movie isn't a widespread celebrated horror as it should be. 1. The Ritual Now, I have talked about this movie enough that it deserves a spot on this list. Taking on the classic horror movie cliches of something evil in the woods is never a smart idea. Even more so something that comes for a group of ignorant, lost campers with no idea of what they're actually stumbling into, slowly getting picked off one by one as they continuously make terrible mistakes whilst panicked in the wilderness. Perhaps unsurprisingly, the ritual does all of this, but impressively avoids getting derivative or weighed down with tropes by putting its own terrifying spin on Norse legend in the process. 
Instead of simple witchery in the woods or a flesh-eating monster left to rule the abandoned forests, the ritual has a completely unique creature at its core, with a whole new set of rules and appearances that make watching it a complete surprise as it transforms in its second half. Combined with haunting flashbacks and the driving, strained force of a group of friends attempting to reconnect, The Ritual is an emotional gut punch of a film that dresses up in cliches without ever actually being one itself. Just go and watch it, it's great. And that's our list. What other underrated horrors deserve some love? Share your thoughts in the comments section below. I've been Ash and this has been What Culture. Make sure to subscribe to the What Culture YouTube channel for more lists like this. And don't forget to visit whatculture.com for daily news and articles. Thanks for watching.